Hello everybody, my name is Hector from HexPC.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your AVOB Vixel 2. Uh, this is a little different than actually setting up the AVOB TV Online and TV Online Plus because it doesn't come with a TV Online app installed already. <clears throat> so at first, go down to the Channel Store, go to Streaming, set up TV Online, Click install. Once that's installed, click on run. And this is where you're going to input your IPTV server information. If you guys have already purchased a service um, subscription, on the top right hand corner, you're going to see your MAC address. On the left hand side, you're going to see where you're going to input your server information. Today, for training purposes only, I'm going to show you one of the servers that's out there so you can understand exactly how to set this up. To make it easy, you can use the keyboard down at the bottom of your remote. I usually plug in a, one of the, my little cordless keyboards that you can buy from hexpc.com. Once you input your server information, go down to connect. Once you see this bar here, that indicates that your IPTV or your AVOB system is connected to the server. If it's not and it doesn't come up, make sure that you have the proper MAC address on the service provider's website. <clears throat> Depending on which service provider you use, they're all different. You might have to, what sometimes happens, <clears throat> your MAC address isn't taken correctly in the beginning. So what you do is change the last two numbers, save it, go back and change it back to your original MAC address, save it, give it a minute or so, and try it back. Now once you're done here, click the back button. All your channels will be here in the live TV section. All your video on demand, movies and everything will be here in this section. Uh, as you can see here, most of these movies are in English and Spanish, to, so you can separate them. Go down here, select English or Spanish, whatever you prefer. And it will input or separate the movies into the language that you actually want. Now let's back out of here again, go to live TV, again, let's get the right Hello, I'm Jake Tapper in Washington, where the State of Our Union is jam-packed. We're only two weeks and one day away from the Iowa caucuses. And on today's show, you will hear from the major players on both sides of the presidential race, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Donald Trump, all coming up. In just hours, the Democratic candidates will face each other down at their debate in Charleston, South Carolina. They have plenty of new material, with Clinton and Sanders both lobbing fresh lines of attack against the other this week. Meanwhile, breaking now, President Obama just spoke about the release of five American prisoners held in Iran. The men released as part of a swap with Iran include Washington Post journalist Jason Rezaian, Marine veteran Amir Hekmati, and Christian pastor Saeed Abedini. They are expected to spend a couple of days at a U.S. military hospital in Germany for medical evaluation before coming home to the United States. A fourth American was not on the plane. He decided to stay in Iran following his release. The president this morning, Harold... again, you exit out. Go back, back, and then you're back on your main screen. Now, what this is going to do is, under my channel, it's going to show you all the application that you actually installed on your system. On this, uh, this system, you can go through. There's several other IPTV services that are 100% free. They work well. 
Uh, one of the more popular ones is the Cloud TV. I mean, you don't get as many channels. They're all different channels on there, but it gives you the option to actually get free TV. Under videos, what's good? Add YouTube, click install. Same thing. Any of this, any of the packages that you actually want, just go click install. It's gonna actually add them to my channels automatically. Another good uh, movie program is Movie Twenty Five. If you have a Netflix account, you can install your Netflix, install your Hulu. That's one of the best things about the new Victo 2. It actually allows you to put your Netflix and your Hulu account all on one system. Another great movie app, one channel, very popular, over 65,000 movies. You'll love it. Well, let's actually go in here. I'll show you this program. As you can see, down towards the bottom left corner you can see it's total of 65,208 movies so far. Uh, best thing it goes you can do by featured films. Newest movies, same thing featured TV shows so it'll give you all your TV series all free of charge. Again you can go through here see what actual TV add-ons you actually want to do we have Cody on here. I'm going to make another tutorial on actually how to set up Cody and TV online app, the TV add-ons. That'll be on another because it'll take a little bit longer than what we're doing now. But again, that's the easiest way to actually set up your your system. Uh, let me just jump here real quick. If you're going to be using Wi-Fi, go into your Wi-Fi settings. Right now, my system is plugged in directly uh, hardwired, but if it wasn't, it'll actually show you on this section all the Wi-Fi services around. Select the one that's yours, input the password, it'll authenticate. Once it says connected, then you're all set. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. I will be having more videos on soon with uh, how to install Kodi with the Beast add-on or any other add-ons. Uh, how to set up your NES emulator with over 600 games and how to same thing with the PSP so again check me out or go visit our site www.hexpc.com that's h-e-c-s-p-c.com thank you